Another area that we want to look at is encryption because security is paramount to most database systems these days. We have every database in our cloud gets encryption by default. And we've tried to make this as lightweight an operation as possible for you as well. So if you've got the advanced security option using TDE, or if you're in cloud and you've moved to Oracle Cloud where security is present in every edition, then this is something that's going to be good to know. So online encryption was added like online data files move in 12.2. And it's good to know the difference between online and offline encryption, because as usual, there are trade-offs involved. With online encryption, the great thing is that your data file is accessible for the entire period while you're encrypting it, but you do have to be aware that that means we need to duplicate the data file, and that means disk space overhead. So if you've got a 20 terabyte big file table space, then you would need 20 terabytes of disk space into which we can encrypt that data file and then kind of switch under the covers at the end. The old style of offline uh, encryption is still available. So if you would prefer to take the table space offline and encrypt it in place, then you don't have that disk space overhead. But of course, the, the table space is not available while you're encrypting it. You can also in, uh, encrypt your system table spaces. It's possible to do that. It's not recommended though. So even though you might see that as something that's available, even our internal experts like the MAA group don't really recommend encrypting your system table spaces. Uh, the other thing that might be interesting to you is the ability to encrypt or decrypt during an RMAN restore operation. So for example, when you're migrating to Oracle Cloud, what we would do is if you're migrating with an RMAN backup into the cloud, when we restore into OCI, for example, we restore and encrypt on the fly. So that means there's not a separate encryption operation needed for that kind of move. Now we have a bunch of preparation steps that are going to be needed for your online uh, encryption. And we'll show those as part of the little video demo that we have here. That's why you'll see on this slide, it says step number six is to encrypt your table space online. We wanted this slide here to show you just how easy it is to do it. It's really just adding the online command to your alter table space encryption, uh, encryption command. And by doing that, we will encrypt your table space online. Also, in addition to encrypting existing table spaces, you should probably think about setting the, uh, the settings for new table spaces to be encrypted by default. If you set encrypt new table spaces equal always, then anytime someone creates a new table space in that data, database, it will be encrypted by default without them having to specify that encryption clause. So that can be handy for making sure that you are secure by default. So let's take a look at a brief demo about how to use online encryption. And this will include all of the setup steps for you. So one of the things we need to do is make sure that we have a key store wallet in place. So we start by creating the directory for the wallet, and then we're going to create the wallet root, and then eventually the key store. So we create that wallet root, and then we're going to have to open the wallet so that we can create the keys first for the container database, the CDB dollar root, and the pluggable database. So we go ahead and administer the key uh, management to open the wallet and uh, create that password protected key store. Now we're in a, a CDB environment here. So we have both the container root and the pluggable database to deal with. So one of the things that we will do is first create uh, the open key, key store and create the key in the root. And then we will have to create it in the pluggable database separately. Remember, each one has its own, own keys. So 
now we've got an auto login key store and we do realize that not everybody wants an auto login key store but especially for things like auto upgrade it's very useful to have that because that way we don't have to manage keys pass them around and deal with the security implications of that so here we have now table spaces that are not encrypted none of the table spaces in our database are encrypted we'll do a simple online encryption of a small table space and i should emphasize this is being done in real time all of this was done at real typing speeds in real time. So it's pretty quick to do this for an, a small table space. Larger table spaces would of course take that much longer to, to encrypt because we're duplicating all of that data while we're encrypting it. So then we would wanna plan for the future and set your, your parameters to make sure that future table spaces are encrypted by default when they're created. So we've done that and that shows you that that future table space came in just by saying create table space without the encryption clause it becomes encrypted by default